The Civic exemplifies automotive excellence and blends fun with efficiency and practicality. Precise steering, a solid chassis, and a well-tuned suspension provide both a compliant ride and sweet handling. Sedans and coupes get a 158 HP 2.0 liter 4 or a 174 HP 1.5 liter turbo for paired with a 6-speed manual or a CVT. The turbo is standard on the hatchback. The 180 HP Sport version is optional. Interior room is good. But taller drivers may find that the front seats lack thigh support. The Honda Sensing Suite of Radar-Based Safety Countermeasures, should you spring for it, brings down to the Civic level a lot of capabilities that formerly were the domain of luxury cars, including automated emergency braking, lane departure mitigation and adaptive cruise control. Currently, prices range from $20,535 for the base LX to $26,135 for the XL Navi both are already on sale. When the $22,135 Sport and Loaded Sport Turing arrive in January, the top price will notch up to just over $29,000. The prices closely track those of the more established and much prettier Mazda 3, and that's probably not by accident. Honda's idea of what dudes want in their styling may look a little overwrought to some, and the center-mounted twin exhaust pipes of the Sport and Sport Turing only further accentuate the race boy elements that the stylist thought necessary to throw in however, if two giant ducks are good, for aren't necessarily better. It seems that the more a car proclaims its sportiness with fake racing gear, the less likely it is to be true. The current Mazda 3 has a swoopy elegance that strikes us as exhibiting what Honda used to have confidence. Still, despite the unnecessary theater, the Civic hatchback has the goods and will stand up well against the Mazda. One of our favorite compacts that's as good for shoppers as it is for the Civic and for Honda.